In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 3, verses 1 through to 6. Therefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our confession, Christ Jesus, who was faithful to him, who appointed him, as Moses also was faithful in all his house. For this one has been counted worthy of, of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who built the house has more honour than the house. For every house is built by someone, but he who built all things is God. And Moses indeed was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which would be spoken afterward. But Christ, as a son of his own house, whose house we are, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm to the end. In this epistle, or we should say, for a better idea, is a letter. The letter that was written to the Hebrews. The Hebrews, the chosen people. And of course that is why the connotations and speaking about Moses, because they could relate to that as the Hebrew nation as Moses was the head of the house. But more so, we should think and focus more maybe towards the end. Consider the apostle and high priest of our confession. We confess that Christ Jesus is our Lord and Master. It is his house we live in. We obey him, the Son of God. We live in his house. He lives in us, who accepts him as the owner of our lives. We must honour, as Moses honoured God, who built the house the house of Israel. So too, as Christians, we must honour the Son of God, Jesus Christ. As is written here, for every house is built by someone, but he who built all things is God. Yes, God built this house we live in. The Son of God we follow. To know the Son of God is to know God the Father. With the help of God the Holy Spirit, we can understand this. So important. So important for us all. And we must be faithful to that house. We must be faithful to the house of Jesus Christ as Christians, as true disciples of him who saves us. During this nativity fast, this preparation time, this Advent season, which is preparation 
to prepare ourselves, our bodies and our souls, to celebrate the birth of Christ, the love that he had for us, shown through his death and his resurrection. God loves us so much. That ultimate gift he gave us, his son, to save us from Satan and the power that Satan had over us. Many people fear death. Why? I guess there are many reasons. Not ready, not ready to die. The fear of losing so much. <clears throat> the fear of losing all that we have in this world. But this fear should not have. We are only here temporarily. These bodies we are in now are just little houses to hold us while we are waiting for us to pass from this world to the next and to be in that paradise Jesus Christ our Saviour, to be in the presence of God, worshipping him with all the angels, to see the power of the Holy Spirit at work. He is at work right now. When Jesus Christ, after his resurrection and his ascension, God sent us the Holy Spirit to be our comforter, to be our helper, to help us know God, to learn about God, to understand Him. We do this by knowing and understanding the teachings of Jesus Christ. We must, <coughs> excuse me, we must hold fast to the faith. There are many things happening around the world all the time, every day. At this point in time, where I live now, we've had another wave of COVID-19 come through. And once again, we are seeing people panicking and carrying on. And why? Because they became complacent. They did not take the precautions. They became relaxed too much. We must be always prepared for that day for that day when we pass from this world to the next, when we are waiting for Judgment Day. So, it is Advent preparation time. We must think about that. We must, as St. John the Baptist told us in the readings the other day, to repent. In other words, turn back to God. Refocus on your faith. Hold fast in it. No matter how much the devil attacks us in the many forms that he takes, the worldly forms that attack us and try to bring us down. Fight, fight, fight every day to hold fast to your faith. Pray fast, as Jesus tells us in the Gospels. 
we must fast and pray for the strength to fight Satan. Keep reading the scriptures. Getting, get, keep getting to know Jesus Christ. To get to know God the Father through Jesus Christ. Make scripture reading a part of your life. A daily event. Pray. Pray constantly. And as I've always said, remember, when you are having difficulty praying, pray the Jesus Prayer. Say the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Give God the glory every day. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen and Amen.